Congratulations, graduates. You don't understand how incredibly proud we are of you this year. I know that this year has been a challenge, but you've come through it with flying colors. I know that you're going to be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to over the next few years. Your resilience and your ability to stay true to your studies through this whole time has been nothing but inspirational to the students below you and to the staff that work with you. Congratulations, and I look forward to seeing what you accomplish in the future. It's hard to summarize the last school year in just a few short moments. You have been challenged and tested in many ways during the last two years, ways that you probably would never have expected. But you have chosen to rise to the challenge and succeed. You have overcome unprecedented obstacles in a tumultuous time. And lessons that you have learned in doing so. Perseverance, patience, adaptability, and strength can stay with you your entire life. The future is open to you and only you can decide what you will make of it. So as you graduate and move on to what the future has in store for you, take time to reflect. Think about the goals you have accomplished and the obstacles you have overcome. Think about those around you who have hoped and dreamed and pushed you towards success. Take their hope with you and share it as far as it can go. For once you choose to embrace hope and courage, the doors of the future cannot help but open for you. Be proud of who you are and be excited about your incredible potential. And most importantly, let your hopes and dreams shape your future. Congratulations from the Northern Lights Public Schools Board of Trustees. On behalf of the residents of the City Coal Lake City Council, as mayor, I want to congratulate all the graduates on achieving a grade 12 diploma. This is a big accomplishment in one's life, and we wish you all uh, much success in going forward. The path for your future is all in your hands, and we wish you all the best. To the parents, the guardians, this is a great day uh, to celebrate with your child, and thank you for getting your children up to this uh, moment in their life, and now basically we're handing off uh, to them their, their future. And uh, this is a, a proud moment in our life for sure. For the educators, uh, the teachers, uh, the school board, the school management, the principals, thank you for all what you do for the students in Cold Lake. Uh, this is, uh, you know, you have our kids for so long of their life in, in the school system. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate all your uh, work that you do. Uh, it goes without little recognition. And, and I want to thank you for everything that you do for our, our students in Cold Lake. For the, the students today, the, uh, this is a, a grade 12 ceremony, uh, big, big accomplishment. Uh, we wish you all the best today in celebrating as best you can under COVID uh, and enjoy your, enjoy your night, enjoy the, uh, the week of celebrations if that's what some of you are going to do and all the best in the future. Thank you. To the graduating class of 2021, thank you for the invitation to participate in your graduation ceremony. This is certainly not the way any of us would want to celebrate this day, but we've all been forced to adapt. It is that adaptation, perseverance, and resiliency that you have shown in your studies that we've come to celebrate. For high school, there are certainly some of you who found it a breeze, others who had to struggle through every day, but all of you have accomplished your goals. There are many people to thank, your family, your friends, your teachers. It is those same people that I know are very proud of you today. And it is that that I miss, seeing their faces beam with pride as you look out on the crowd. With that, from the envy of Bonneville and our council, I wanna congratulate all of you and wish you the best on all of your future endeavors. Thank you. Hello everyone, I want to send out huge congratulations for all of your hard work, your commitment and your tenacity. This is the beginning of your life journey and graduating from high school is a wonderful, wonderful thing to achieve. So we wish you all of the best, all in 
everything that you do. Know that Coal Lake First Nations leadership, the elders and the people are behind you. We want you to go forward and make us proud. We are Dene Souhline and Cree Nation, and we want you to be at your best at all times. So wonderful, wonderful to, to be here to wish you well in your future. Masicho. Chief Roger Martin here. I'd just like to wish all of you congratulations on graduating in the class of uh, 21. Uh, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. It's a special day for you all. You guys accomplished your goals of completing your high school. Very proud of you. I wish you all the best. God bless and good luck in the future. What's the show? I would like to thank you all for your hard work and your sacrifices you have had to make in order for you to complete your studies in the 2021 uh, year. Um, I'd like to congratulate all of you in your successes going forward. Hopefully most of you will be going to college or university. Uh, and I'd just like to say good luck in the next following year. Thank you. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You know, the sky's the limit. You guys can do anything in the future. You know, sky's the limit. Congratulations. I know this year has been a struggle with COVID and everything. And I'm happy for you guys, man. So my prayer is out to you guys to succeed in the future. You are our future. Masi. Congratulations to all the students of 2021. Today you made a milestone. I would like to honor all the students for their achievements and hard work to accomplish your goals. Continue your studies for trade school degrees. Because the nation needs doctors, teachers, electricians, technicians, carpenters, plumbers. The sky is the limit. And once again, congratulations to all. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Councillor Travis Machavis from Colic First Nations, Look Chuk Tue. On behalf of Chief and Council myself, we are very proud to see you accomplish this huge step in your life. We would like to wish you all the very best. Never give up. We love you all. God bless. Masicho. Congratulations to the 2021 graduates this year. You guys have done an incredible job in navigating this crazy year. Uh, if you can do this, uh, that means you can do almost anything. Uh, you guys should go and get a college education, travel if you can, and make the most out of your time. It goes by very, very fast, and it's the best if you work very hard at it. You'll get to exactly where you wanna go. Whatever you wanna do, it's possible. I hope you all the best in your journeys and have a great year. Hi, this is David Hansen, the MLA for Bonneville Cold Lake St. Paul, coming to you from the fifth level of the Alberta Legislature. Congratulations to all of 2021 grads. Regardless of the circumstances, graduation is an exciting step forward for each of you, and I wish you all nothing but the best. You have all come to this huge milestone with the support of your friends, family, teachers, and of course yourselves. As many of you part ways and move on to the exciting next chapters of your lives, remember to continue to surround yourselves with strong supports and to trust yourselves as you enter the world of adulthood. Hard work, perseverance and tenacity are all attributes you have shown, especially over these past two difficult years, and I know they will serve you well in the future. Congratulations, great work and keep working hard. I know it will take you farther than you ever thought you could go. Thank you.
as you can see, a grad class of 135 kids takes a lot of space. Good morning, and welcome to all of you who have joined us on this beautiful summer day to honor the grad class of 2021. My name is Dustin Walker, and I'm the principal of Cold Lake High School. There were many times in the last several months when we did not think this event could happen and certainly not with this many people in person. This is officially the most times we have planned, replanned, and planned once more a graduation from beginning to end in the same year. I have to thank the parents of the uh, parent committee and the staff who helped out with this for their patience and willingness to go back to the drawing board so many times. I just have a couple of housekeeping items that I'd like to cover right now. Um, you will have noticed when you came into the facility that we are still required to hand sanitize, space ourselves appropriately, and wear masks while we're indoors, unless you're on stage. Graduates, as you come onto the stage, you're encouraged to remove your mask for pictures, and you will notice that as we proceed, there are very few speeches. This, don't, you, you don't have to clap for that. I, yeah, yeah. This is to reduce the amount of time that we're in this closed space together. Multiple dignitaries have sent us pre-recorded speeches, which will be part of the recorded version of this event. You'll be able to access this through YouTube this afternoon or this evening. Family and students will be sent a link. And there'll be more information on that in a little, little bit here. With no further ado, let's get on with the show. As we gather, we wish to acknowledge that today, we are within the boundaries of Treaty 6, which was first signed at Fort Carlton, Saskatchewan in 1876. Treaty 6 is a vast area covering large portions of central Alberta and Saskatchewan and encompasses the reserve lands of 18 First Nations bands. Along with the Wood Cree and the Plains First Nations, Treaty 6 also includes the traditional territories of the Nakoda, Soto, and Dene First Nations. We also acknowledge that we are gathered on the traditional homeland of the Métis Nation. We honor the heritage and gifts of both First Nations and Métis people. And now, I would like to invite one of our very own graduates to come to the stage 
to perform O Canada for us. Kenji, would you please come up and I will have the rest of the crowd rise. Kenji, that was amazing. Thank you for doing that for us. And now I would like to take a, mom a moment to honor a graduate who could not be with us today. Aaron Thier, a valued member of our Royals family and the 2021 gradu graduating class, recently passed away. His kind and gentle personality will be missed by all of us. His family has asked that we all celebrate this graduation together and remember Aaron, and that we still enjoy the day to its fullest. You will notice that graduates and staff are all wearing lapel pins designed by a member of our grad class to show our support for the Thier family and to have a part of Aaron with each of us on this day. The Thier family has generously funded a scholarship for a Cold Lake High School graduate this year and for three more years in memory of Aaron. This scholarship will be known as the Aaron Thier Award. At this moment, I would ask for a moment of silence while I deliver Aaron's graduate cert certificate, his cap and gown signed by all his classmates to its rightful place on the floor with the rest of our graduates. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce Mrs. Kelly Eagles and Mrs. Christina Martellotti Keene, who will be introducing to you the rest of the graduates today. And guys, let's give them a round of applause.
Dina Hinshaw moment there. We are both so honored to be asked to speak today at the ceremony. This is truly a special group of graduates. We've been teaching for many years and we feel like we have gotten to know this group better than most. Like many of you through the pandemic, we have missed social interactions with our families and friends. Both Kelly and I are not from Alberta. Being away from loved ones has been extremely difficult. Working at Cold Lake High School has helped to fill this void. The connections and relationships we built with our students became even more important. The past 18 months, we have had the opportunity to get to know these graduates very well. We've talked about Netflix and our favorite snacks, new hobbies and talents we started mastering. Through online learning, we got to meet their siblings, see their pets. We could tell when they were at their mom's house or their dad's house based on the color of the walls and the pictures in the background. We would discuss how we were doing and what we were missing. We would do mental health checks and share in our struggles. When we were sent online, we dealt with that together. When required, we quarantined together. And unfortunately, we experienced loss together. No matter what we faced, we supported each other. We could empathize with their loss and celebrate their wins. We are honored to represent the teachers who are extremely proud of all that you have faced, conquered, and achieved despite the challenges. Before we begin, I would like to explain how pictures of the graduates can be taken. As students cross the stage, they are asked to continue walking towards Miss Moon for a photo. We ask that only one person comes forward to take a picture of the graduate. Please ensure you stand in the designated picture taking box and move on once your graduate has passed. Susie from Images will also be taking pictures of each graduate and these will be available at a later date. Now let's begin. Like we like to begin many of our graduations, we'll start with an Ahenikyu. Tai Ahenikyu. Ty would like to thank his parents, siblings, and friends for pushing him to do his best and get through high school. Ty plans to further his education in Edmonton and pursue a career in psychology. Sid Aurora. Sid would like to thank his mom, dad, and sister for supporting him throughout his journey. Sid would also like to extend gratitude to Shahir for helping him in math, Isaac for helping him in bio, and the unlimited rides, and Aaron for being a great friend. Sid will miss all of his friends and teachers who helped him becoming successful. He will be going on to the U of A to pursue dentistry and hopes to become an optometrist about a decade or so. Luke Bartman. After Luke, after Luke leaves these halls, he will still remember how nice the school is and the great friends he spent time with here. He also really enjoyed Mr. Yoshida's social studies class. One thing Luke will not miss is the crowds as students rush to escape the halls at the end of the day. He plans to study culinary arts after graduation and eventually own his own food truck. Luke wants to thank his family for their support and encouragement. Kaylee Berry. Kaylee would like to thank her mom for always encouraging her to do her best, always supporting her and for being her role model growing up. Kaylee would also like to thank her stepdad for being a big part of her life. D'Artanian Blanchard. D'Artanian, a.k.a. Dart, would like to thank his mom and dad for always supporting him. His best memory of his time at Cold Lake High School is the adventures he had on the school ski trip. Although Dart will miss playing rugby each spring, he will not miss waking up early for school. He plans to work and travel. His parting thought, 
young enough to know I can, old enough to know I shouldn't, and stupid enough to do it anyways. Fern Bonsanthia. Fern thanks everyone in Cold Lake High School for such a good experience. She would like to thank all of the teachers she had class with for helping her with her English. She'd also like to thank her friends in this school. She had a, such a warm welcome to Cold Lake High School and many great memories. Fern appreciates all the support provided by her friends and teachers. She'll cherish them all. Thank you so much, Cold Lake High School. Colin Booker. Colin thanks his mom and dad for all their love and support. He also thanks the EAs and teachers who've helped him reach this milestone. Colin will always remember the fun he had in the life skills program. He loved field trips and unified sports. Colin appreciated all the skills he's been taught, which will help him be successful in life. The next step for Colin is college. To my fellow graduates, congratulations and good luck in the future. Riley Bordalo. Riley is a bit surprised at how rough these past few years have been for him and his fellow classmates, but he's happy they've survived the worst and can move towards their goals. The people that have helped Riley the most and who he would like to thank the most are his mother, grandmother, and friends, August, Ray, and Christian. Even if the future isn't clear, Riley and his friends faced a lot of uncertainty and he's super excited to see how far they'll go. Camille Buffard. We wish Camille all the best in his future endeavors. <laughs> Ellie Brown. We wish Ellie all the best on her future endeavors. Keelan Brown. Keelan's fondest memories of CLHS centers on sports. He will always remember the various volleyball tournaments and seeing his friends on a daily basis. Keelan will not miss the restrictions of the past year and a half due to COVID and the impact on his extracurricular life. Keelan wishes to pursue a career in optometry after graduation. Isaac Burke. Isaac would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for helping him through his high school experience. Isaac's favorite memory from Cold Lake High School would be basketball zones in Fort McMurray in grade 10. His plan for after graduation is to spend as much time with his friends before they go in their separate ways and to start an apprenticeship in carpentry. Jade Kadu. Jade would like to thank all of her friends and family for who she is today. Also, she thanks all the teachers from each school she attended throughout high school, Lloyd Minster, St. Albert, and of course, home, Cold Lake. Although she wasn't in Cold Lake for long, Jade made memories. Jade plans on going into the sciences, majoring in biology. It's been a challenging year, and she's glad everyone survived it. As in the words of Forrest Gump, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Peace out, CLHS. Kenji Calder. In the future, Kenji plans to attend Schulich School of Engineering through the University of Calgary for his Bachelor's of Civil Engineering. He would like to thank the teachers that helped him and gave great advice in school and just in general. He also wants to thank his parents for always supporting him and pushing him to be a great student. 
Lastly, he would like to thank his friends for making school a little bit more fun, which made the last four years fly by. Kenji would like to say to all the younger grades, if you see me next year in your class, mind your business, physics was hard. Analia Cardinal. Analia would like to thank her mom for supporting and encouraging her throughout her life. Some of Analia's most entertaining memories of high school are having a new teacher and getting to hear their different pronunciations of her name and being called by completely other names, such as Ariana, Amelia, and however else Analia can be wrongly pronounced. Every fun memory Analia has of high school will always include her friends. After high school, Analia plans on leaving and seeing what else is outside of Cold Lake. Amy Charlton. We wish Amy all the best in her future endeavors. Jaden Ann Cherko. Jaden Ann wants to thank her mom for all her love and support. As Jaden Ann leaves Cold Lake High School, she will fondly remember Mr. Yoshida's morning music and will miss bugging the teachers and seeing her friends. She loved her time here. Some teachers were not only amazing teachers, but great people, and she made many lifelong friendships. Jaden plans to work for a year and then take courses at Portage College. Matthew Coben. Matthew will miss the stairwell the most at CLHS as he spent many lunch hours eating underneath it. He wants to thank his family and Mr. Yoshida for the positive impact they have had on his life. Matthew plans to study history and pursue law after high school. Jacob Corey. Jacob would like to thank his parents and friends for supporting him throughout his time here at school. Jacob would also like to say thank you to his teachers who taught him so many things that will help him be successful throughout life. Overall, Jacob's time at Cold Lake High School has been great, and he feels that one of the things he will miss the most is the time he gets to spend with friends. Caleb Coulter. <laughs> High school has been a blast and a great learning experience for not only studies, but also navigating people being able to create new friendships and getting to create a social circle that Caleb looks forward to seeing every day. It was a long journey, but having great friends and supportive parents to get through made it all the better for Caleb. High school was fun, but now it is time to go on to a new adventure. Caleb thanks CLHS for a great couple of years. Benicio Craig. When Benicio first came to Cold Lake High School, he had absolutely no idea what he was doing. It's so crazy how much time can change a person. Thankfully, he had all the support that he needed from his friends and family to help pave his way. As much as Benicio is going to miss high school and all the memories that it brought, he can't wait to go out and make some new ones. Phoenix Craig. Phoenix has decided to go into a trade as an animal trainer at the zoo, specializing, specializing in wolves and cheetahs. They are very excited to start down the road towards their dream career. On the side of animal training, they also will be writing books, mostly fantasy novels or compilations of poetry they have written themselves. Alicia Crevier Gladue. 
Alicia is excited to officially graduate from Cold Lake High School. Her peers, assistants, and teachers will miss chatting with her and seeing her beautiful artwork. We wish you all the best as you transition into the next chapter of your life. Chloe Sear. Chloe is happy to have finished high school and is looking forward to new adventures. She will be taking the LPN program and plans on traveling. She would like to thank her parents for always supporting her and helping her succeed. Connor Daly. Connor will forever appreciate the time spent with his friends throughout high school and the memories they made. He is thankful for the support he received from family and looks forward to his future. Connor wishes the best for his classmates and teachers. Avery Daniels. Avery is very thankful for the support of her family, friends, and teachers, including Mr. Sh Yoshida, Mrs. Keene, Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Johnson, and Mr. Surant throughout her years at CLHS. Her fondest memories include sports performance and playing secret Hitler in military history. Though Avery will not miss silent reading in English, she will miss Mr. Kaminsky's enthusiastic hellos. We wish Avery luck as she takes some time to upgrade, then pursue medical school. Jackson Deary. Jackson's favorite memories of high school are Mr. Eagle's outdoor education class and Mr. Yoshida's military studies class. After graduation, Jackson plans to study at the University of Alberta. If he can, Jackson plans to move back to Cold Lake when he's all said and done. Jackson will always remember the good times and the great friends. Morgan Dume. Morgan's two pieces of advice for new students at CLHS are, one, always wear a big hoodie, it makes it easier to sleep in class, and two, Always walk with a purpose so the teachers won't question where you're going when you skip class. <laughs> Madison East Hope. Madison will be remembered for always arriving exactly at 8.45 with Tim's in her hand. Though Madison won't miss school itself, she will miss many of the teachers that she had at CLHS. She will definitely not miss getting up early every day to come in and learn. As she takes some time to figure out her plans, she wants to thank her friends, family, and teachers. Lyndon Edwards. We wish Lyndon all the best in his future endeavors. Walid Al Jaji. Walid is sad to be leaving Cold Lake High School because he will miss his favorite teachers, Mr. Eagles, Mrs. Eagles, and Mrs. Hedberg. He will be remembered for never being on time and always wearing his mask under his nose. He would like to thank his family and friends for helping him get to graduation. He's excited to start working in the family business. If you're looking for a sick fade, come see Walid. Zach Engman. Zach would like to thank his family and friends for their continued support and encouragement. His fondest, 
Well, maybe not fondest memory of CLHS was when Mrs. Eagles positioned him against some local seniors in a game of pickleball, and they proceeded to destroy him. Zach will miss hanging out with his buddies in the morning before class, but not the busy parking lot. He plans to attend Nate in the fall to pursue civil tech. Rosie Evans. We wish Rosie all the best in her future endeavors. <laughs> Georgia Fideev. Georgia will miss the antics of Mr. Yoshida's social study class, but not the stressful chemistry tests. Her best memory of high school is laughing until she could barely breathe with her friends during break. Georgia plans to live in her parents' basement while she figures out the rest of her life. She wants to thank her parents and friends for their support. Final thoughts. I'm like a Barbie scooter. Fabulous, but unstable. Haley Fiduniak. Even though that was nothing like high school musical, it was still a fine time. Haley would like to thank family, friends, and teachers for all the support, helping out when she missed a few days for dance, and a lot more. Haley plans to start her professional dance career in Vancouver and one day move to New York while training with Team Canada and teaching. Haley is so grateful for everything she's learned and the amazing time she's had. Yes, we face some challenges, but remember, if Haley can make it to calculus, anything is possible. Emma, the battery's dead. Emma Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Emma would like to start by thanking everyone who helped her throughout the years. They've been crazy, but Emma learned and grew a lot. Emma would like to attend State College in Calgary to become an x-ray technician and hopes to travel. Emma's best memories in high school have been the friendships she's built and the consistent schedule to keep her on track. Emma is excited to see where life will take her. Jordan Fournier. Jordan plans to head to McEwen to study political science. As he leaves CLHS, he will fondly remember the antics that he and his friends got into. Jordan would like to thank his family and friends for all their support over the years and all the teachers who had to put up with him. Sammy Fouch Schaefer. Good job, Sammy. Sammy has galloped her way through her time at CLHS. She has loved sharing her passion for drawing and art with her classmates. She would like to thank all of her teachers and educational assistants that have helped her get to graduation. We will get to have Sammy in our building for a few more years, and we are all very grateful for that. Hunter Gladju. Hunter came to Cold Lake High School late in his high school career. He feels like picking a single memory is impossible, but he will miss the welcoming atmosphere and the friendships he made here. He will not miss having to wake up at 6 a.m. to catch the bus. Hunter plans to pursue a career in nursing and would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for their help and support along the way. Hunter Graveson. Hunter, also known as Sharpshooter87, wants to thank his teachers, friends, and especially his family for always helping and supporting him throughout his life. 
He enjoyed his two years at Cold Lake High School, filled with great memories and fun time spent with everyone. Also his favorite teachers. He won't name any names here, but he is sure they know who they are. After high school, Hunter is going to pursue power engineering, just like his dad. <laughs> Sam Green. <laughs> Sam thanks his mom, dad, sister, and other family and friends. Sam has been through a lot over these last couple of years, but he is grateful he had a solid friend group and family to keep him level. Sam doesn't know if the last 12 years were a waste of his life or not, but he figures only time will tell. Brandon Gruel. Brandon is excited to officially graduate from Cold Lake High School. Though he might be back for a victory lap, he is proud of his accomplishment. His fondest memories of ha are hanging out with his friends in class and helping to prep the food for the wellness wagon. Peter Gressla. Peter would like to thank his mom for the yummy breakfast sandwiches to get him going in the morning, Connor for making him late for every first block, and Aaron for the late night tutor sessions, which got him on this stage. His fondest memories of CL CLHS will be his two consecutive semesters in math with Darge. You run a hard bargain. Connor Gullickson. <laughs> Connor, also known as Seagull8771, or Gully, enjoyed the years he spent at Cold Lake High School and all the memories he has made. Connor is going to miss all his close friends, his favorite teacher, Mrs. Keene, and his family. Connor is excited to begin his new journey in Calgary with Joey, Gravison, and Berkey as they start their careers. Jade Hassey. Jade's favorite part of high school was her friends and any type of science class. Her favorite science, cl science class of all time was with Mrs. Keene during her senior year. Jade hopes to pursue a career as an addiction service social worker. Joe Hamel. Joe would like to thank his family, teachers, friends, and his talent to grow a dirty stash for giving him the tools and abilities to help him succeed through high school and in life. Joe will miss seeing his teachers and friends, especially Berkey, Siegel8771, and Mr. Whopper Wednesday Yoshida. Joe plans to go south and attend SAIT. Aaron Harris. Aaron's happiest memories at high school were seeing her friends every day. The worst memory definitely would be when COVID happened. Aaron's plans after school will be going to college for natural resources technology. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Sophia Harrison. After high school, Sophia plans on attending post-secondary education to become an elementary school teacher. Sophia would like to thank her friends, especially Alex, for making high school fun and creating great memories to hold on to after she leaves. She would like to thank her teachers for all the amazing help and her family for pushing her to do her best. 
Most importantly, Sophia would like to thank her mother for never giving up on her and making sure she knew just how much she could accomplish, and her father for the harsh but much needed reality checks. Diego Hatch. Diego plans to take two years off, then go to school to become a social worker. As he leaves CLHS, he will miss his buddies and the school itself. His fondest memory will be hitting the gym with the boys. Diego would like to thank his family and friends for all the support they have given him throughout his years of school. Jaden Hatch. It's been a long and a short four years at CLHS. Long because of the essays and homework, short because of the friendships made and lasting memories made on the football field and in the cafeteria. Jaden would like to express his appreciation of all his teachers, coaches, friends, family, and Google, all of which helped him to become the graduate he is today. Ashlyn Hawley. Attending Cold Lake High School for four years has been a whirlwind of emotions. Ashlyn gained plenty of friendships that will last a lifetime and was able to find mentors along the way within the staff, especially her second mom, Mrs. Keene. Ashlyn's favorite and most memorable memory at the high school was being able to be part of the Royals basketball team. She would like to thank her family for pushing her to success and being her number one support system. After graduation, Ashlyn will be attending Medicine Hat College to pursue a bachelor's degree in education to become a teacher. Angel Hernandez. Angel's first day of school was interesting. He was nervous because he wasn't sure who he was going to meet or how his classes were going to go. Looking back now, Angel realizes that we all have been through a lot these past few years. He wants to thank his teachers and friends for being patient and helping him whenever he was struggling. Angel wishes everyone the best of luck in everything they choose to do. Always stay positive. Jaron Hood. Jaron would like to start off by thanking her parents and all of her teachers for supporting her throughout high school. Jaron would also like to thank COVID for making the last two years very interesting. Many memories and friendships were made in high school that she will never forget. After high school, Jaron plans on pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. She's very excited to see what the future has in store. Austin Jailbert. Austin will remember the CLHS will remember CLHS for the sense of community that pervades these halls. He most treasures the new people he has met and the friendships that he has cultivated during the past four years. He would like to thank his friends and family for always being there. Austin plans to attend university to study criminology. Marvin Janvier. First off, Marvin thanks the boys for the memories. Secondly, he wants to thank his family. He doesn't know where he'd be without them. Thanks to the janitor for always keeping it real, and thanks to the cafeteria lady who's always got the best cake. Quinton Julian. Quentin had such a great time being at CLHS. He has made many great memories that will stay with him forever. It has been such a great part of his life, and he is sad that it is over, but all great things must come to an end. Quentin hopes everybody has a great life and gets to do all the things they want to do. Keegan Kikinger. 
Keegan would like to thank the boys and his family for helping him get through this year. After high school, Keegan plans to take a year off and then become a heavy duty mechanic. Riley Keelan. Riley would like to thank his mom and dad and Rosie. Without their help, he is sure he would not have graduated. It is ironic that for years he couldn't wait to leave school, but now he wishes he could stay a little bit longer. Sam Kemple. Discipline, work, reward. These are values that Sam lives by each and every day. These values were taught to him by Yosh and Coach Johnson. Sam would like to thank his family, his best friend. He wouldn't be here without them. After high school, he wants to become a special needs educator. Madison Katakan. Madison is excited to leave Cold Lake. She will be heading to BC after graduation to attend Douglas College to pursue a degree in psychology. She would like to thank her mom, family, and friends, especially her best friend, Brooke, for sticking with her for the past three years. Shahir Khan. Shout outs to Shahir's parents for bringing him into this world. Shout outs also to Kaylee and Dom and all his other friends. He's given a big salute to COVID because, well, that's self explanatory. Although Shahir felt senior year was less than satisfactory, he felt that there were some nice memories along the way. Shahir learned one lesson, and that is if you sleep in all of your classes, you'll succeed. Don't ask, it just works. Lachlan Kolawaski. Lachlan would like to thank the boys, his mom and dad, and abusive older brother for their support. He will miss laughing at Joe Rusky's park jobs, but not the kids who cannot back into a parking space properly. Lachlan plans to simply enjoy life after graduation and figure the rest out later. Jenna Kovac. Jenna would like to thank her mom, family, and friends for getting her through high school. Jenna's plans for the future is to become a pediatric nurse. Jenna hopes to travel the world and go skydiving. When things go wrong, we have to be strong and carry on. Dominic Leduc. We wish Dominic all the best in his future endeavors. Samantha Lee. We wish Samantha all the best in her future endeavors. Xander Leniak. Xander plans to go to Nate in the fall to earn a degree in electrical engineering. Xander would like to thank his friends he's known through high school for making it something he will never forget, and he wishes them all the best. Christopher Locke. Chris completed three years at Cold Lake High School, and during those years, he had lots of fun learning and making new friends. 
Though Chris enjoyed doing many of the academic classes, his favorite part was the bus ride home. Chris had some very good and nice teachers, and he thanks them for the time they spent helping and teaching, and for the opportunity for him to do something great with his life. Chris will be headed to RMC this summer to take electrical and mechanical engineering. John Mainville. John would like to thank his dad for always pushing him to get his work done. Without him, he would not have made it to this stage. The best memories for John of CLHS was the ski trip in grade 10. In addition to this great memory, John will miss football and Yosh, but not waking up early for school. David Marcellus. We wish David all the best in his future endeavors. <laughs> Jessica Marie. Jessica is going to the U of A where she will be studying sociology. She wishes to thank all of the friends she had through this journey. She values the life lessons and different perspectives they have shown her. They taught her that if you change the way you look at things, then the things you look at change. Tyrell Martin. Tyrell says, CLHS has been the best and worst years of my life. Something I tell my own children would be, live your life, have fun with your friends, go out on dates with whoever you want, listen to music or make it, make people laugh, and find people who make you happy. Tyrell would like to thank Mr. Eagles, Ms. Hedberg, and Ms. Keefe, and his family for their support. Colby MacArthur. Colby would like to thank his family, his close and distant friends for supporting him over the last four years in school. His favorite classes were all the outdoor ed classes and military studies. Colby will never forget that one error in outdoor ed that has taught him to be extra careful around certain tools. He will always look back on the hanging out with the boys and his time on the archery team. Colby plans for post-secondary to go to the University of Alberta and become a paleontologist. He wishes the best for all his fellow graduates. Tevin McClellan. Tevin would like to thank his family and friends for the support they have given him throughout high school. His fondest memory is of meeting Mr. Hebert way back in grade nine. Tevin will miss seeing his friends every day, but not the homework. Tevin plans to attend Lakeland College next year to study heavy, heavy oil power engineering. Caden McDonough. Caden would like to thank his family for their support throughout his school years. As he heads off on adventures in the Canadian Rockies to snowboard and mountain climb, he will miss his time spent at Cold Lake High School with his friends. He will not, however, miss the anxiety that comes with worrying about his grades. Now we have a special treat for you. Two sets of twins. Here we go. Alexander Minnick. <laughs> Alexander will really miss his years of football at CLHS and will always remember winning the Constellation Finals last year against Westlock. However, he will not miss chemistry. Sorry, Coach Johnson. Alexander plans to become a paramedic and wishes everyone luck in reaching and going beyond their goals and aspirations. Sean Minnick. 
Sean would like to thank Mr. Yoshida, Coach Johnson, and his family for always supporting him and pushing him to do his best. His favorite memory of Cold Lake High School is the final football game in Westlock last year. Though he will miss it, Yosha's social studies class, he will not miss math. Sean plans to take a year off before pursuing police studies at Grant McEwen. Emily Moore. Emily would like to thank all the wonderful teachers and staff at CLHS for making the last four years memorable. She will especially miss Mr. Yoshida's stories and Mr. Darji's math jokes. Next year, Emily will be pursuing a Bachelor of Health Sciences at Queen's University. Congratulations to all of the grads. Ethan Moore. Ethan would like to thank his mom, dad, brother, and sister for their support and encouragement. As he leaves CLHS, he will miss eating lunch with Mr. Yoshida and gym class with Mr. Bowers. He will not miss the awkwardness of going up and down those spiral stairs, though. Ethan plans to take a gap year before heading off to post-secondary. Tristan Moorcraft. Tristan is a man of few words, loves his sports, and he hopes to pursue a career in power engineering. He thanks his parents, grandparents, and friends for all the support they have given him throughout high school. Tristan wishes the graduates of 2021 all the best in whatever they choose to do. Dylan Morissette. Dylan would like to say, did everybody see that? Because I will not be doing it again. Ryder Morton. Ryder would like to start off by thanking his family for all the late night study sessions and not letting him quit. Ryder's best memories from high school were hanging out with his boys and maybe learning a thing or two, thing or two along the way. Ryder's worst memory was when the school was shut down from COVID. Ryder's future plans are to work and travel the world and to visit as many places as he possibly can in his lifetime. Yashar Mosadegi. This is truly one of the most exciting days of Yashar's life, and he would like to thank all the people who helped him get here, his family for always helping when needed, and his friends for always being there and making him laugh with their interesting conversation topics. Yashar will always miss those entertaining lunches, but he sure won't miss overcomplicated math equations. Cole Muskego. We wish Cole all the best in his future endeavors. Brooke Neumer. Brooke is excited to be done at Cold Lake High School. She is headed to the University of Northern British Columbia to take environmental sciences. She would like to thank her family and friends, especially her best friend, Tinker. Jenna Nickel. <laughs> Jenna would like to thank her older brother, Jordan Nickel, for showing her what high school is all about, which is not really the school part. She would also like to thank her mom, Teresa, dad Kirk, and little sister Jamie. Lastly, Jenna would like to thank her friends for encouraging her to do her best on the weekends. Jenna's best memory at CLHS would be grade nine with Mercedes. She will definitely miss the cookies from the cafeteria, talking gossip with Mrs. Keene, and living her life to the fullest with no regrets. <laughs> Jenna 
Girin Okomo. Girin would like to thank his friends, parents, and siblings for their outgoing love and support. As he moves on from Cold Lake High School, he will remember getting to know his friends inside and outside of the school. He will miss his teachers, but not the schoolwork, as he takes a year off before pursuing post-secondary. He would like to remind us that school is only temporary. Game Pigeon win streak is forever. Aiden Orr. Aiden enjoyed making good memories with the boys on the occasional weekend and plans to spend lots of time fishing this summer. Although this is his first year at Cold Lake High School, he managed to meet new teachers and make lots of new friends along the way. Aiden will miss Mrs. Matthews' physics class and Mrs. Eagle's gym class the most. Aiden plans to attend Lake Lion College for power engineering. Matthew Ovens. Matthew would like to thank all of his awesome friends, teachers, and basketball coaches for encouraging him to do his best, even when he did not enjoy what he was learning or doing. What Matthew learned most from his time at Cold Lake High School is to never give up. Isabella Paypals. Bella would like to thank her dad, mom, and siblings for their continuous support. She would also like to acknowledge the support from her peers and teachers throughout her years at Cold Lake High School, especially as she faced the challenges of alopecia. Bella could often be found at lunch hanging out in the parking lot. She will miss these moments with friends, but not the spiral staircase Austin Pangle. Austin is looking forward to venturing out into the world and starting a career in carpentry. Austin always has had a passion for working outside and building things. Shop class gave Austin a great start in this field of work, thanks to Mr. Hidinski. Austin will always remember Mr. Eagles, AKA Mr. Lettuce Man, explaining his lettuce burgers. Thea Pierce. Thea would like to thank her parents, Jess and Kenny Pierce, for supporting her throughout high school. Thea's worst memory of high school is COVID and having to quarantine all the time. After school, Thea plans to take a year off, save up, and try to figure out what she wants to be. Corp Corbin Purpoletza. Corbin has no idea what to put here. He is utterly stumped by the criteria. Corbin has nothing that stands out to him that he feels comfortable or necessary to share. To be honest, Corbin finds it impossible to think of a worse and best memory, nor does he have any words of aspiration. Oh, and happy birthday! Matisse Pichette. Matisse would like to thank his friends and family for helping him throughout the last 12 years. He thanks Mrs. Keene for being the best teacher and he is happy Mrs. Chernichan will not be able to bully him anymore. He hopes Mrs. Johnson doesn't miss him and his soaked and late homework too much. Matisse is going to miss the school ski trip, but many more to come. Felicitacion, Matisse. Justin Paquette. <laughs> Justin's future plans include travel and moving to Calgary for school. Justin's past hobbies are working out, snowboarding, and sports. His best memory of school is hanging out with his friends. <laughs> Lauren. 
Lloyd Poirier. Lloyd would like to thank all the teachers from elementary school to high school for putting up with him and for all their help and encouragement throughout the years. Lloyd was not the easiest student at times, so he thanks you. After school is done, Lloyd would like to get into small engine repair. Riley Primich. Riley would like to thank his friends and family, especially his mom and Dean, for the support and guidance throughout his school experience. High school has given Riley many long-lasting friendships that has made his high school year memorable. He plans on moving to California to pursue a construction trade. Parker Pike. Parker would like to thank all of his family, friends, and teachers for making high school the best experience he could ask for. It had its ups and downs, although there were many more ups. Parker's most fond memory of CLHS was his grade 10 gym class with the boys and the legend, Jeremy Kahn. There was never a dull moment in that class. Parker will not miss all the work and assignments, especially chem. Sorry, KJ. Parker's going to take a year off and look over his options and go from there. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Hannah Reed. <laughs> Hannah would like to thank their friends for supporting them throughout the past four years, through both ups and downs. Hannah would like to thank both Mr. Johnson and Mr. Yoshida for the opportunity to help volunteer with the football team and for allowing them to support the players and the program. It was an amazing experience and they're glad they were able to be a part of it. Hannah would like to thank all of their teachers for supporting them along the way and for going the extra mile to ensure that they and others could succeed. Colton Ritter. Planning for his future, Colton is either going to head into real estate or something with commission sales. Colton's best memory at CLHS was doing the McDonald's runs with some of his closest friends and the Burger King runs on Whopper Wednesdays for Mr. Yoshida. Shayla Rogers. Shayla is excited to be done with high school and is planning to attend the University of Alberta to study science. Shayla's best memories were those spent with her friends and will truly miss seeing them every day. Shayla wishes all the fellow graduates the best of luck in their future endeavors. Joe Roshowski. Bless you. <laughs> when Joe thinks of Cold Lake High School, he will always think back to the day of the Bio 20 field trip, where he was shoved into a pile of animal crap. Thanks, Matisse. He then went home and changed, and then came back to hit Justin's car in the parking lot. Joe would like to give a special shout out to all the people that were nice enough not to honk at him as he struggled to back into the parking lot for the last two years. Colby Schwaga. Although Colby would like to thank his mom, dad, and sister for supporting him throughout his years in school, there was someone even more inspirational to him during his years at CLHS, Colby will always remember and will truly miss Mr. Juan as he moves on to the workforce. That Mr. Juan is such a funny guy. Colby will probably also miss hanging out with his friends, though. Corinne Smith. Corinne has a lot of fond memories of Cold Lake High School, including making new friends, playing rugby, and participating in archery with much success. Corinne wishes to thank the teachers, 
her coaches, Mr. Tim and Mr. Nickel, and Mrs. Hefner and Mrs. Irame for always supporting and encouraging her. She will not miss getting up early for school, so she will need to find a job that starts a bit later as she plans to work for a year to earn money before post-secondary. Moments last a while, while memories last forever. Make these moments last so that you can treasure the memories of what you, your family, and friends have all done together. Christian Soli. <laughs> Greetings, all. Christian is glad to be up on the stage with all of his fellow grads. He and his fellow grads have all shared this tough year together, and he's glad that they made it here, closing a chapter in their book of life. Christian would like to thank all of his friends and family who helped him get here today for pushing him to pass his classes and not have to do all of this again because, let's be honest, high school kind of sucked. Christian thanks everyone. Have a great summer and please wear your mask. Christian doesn't want to have to isolate after this. Cage Southward. Cage had lots of fun in high school and is happy to be set free into the real world. Sydney Stark. Sydney will always remember the strong support system that she had at Cold Lake High and would like to thank Miss Flanders and all the teachers who put up with her. Sydney will not miss Mr. Eagles getting off topic, tell me about it, in social studies, but will miss Miss Flanders bugging her all the time. Watch out for Sydney on the future seasons of CSI as she plans to become a criminal investigator. Sydney would like to add, look, mom and dad, I did it. <laughs> Kaylee Stobert. <laughs> Even the smallest person can change the course of the future. Kaylee is no hobbit, but many say she acts like one. She's short loyal, kind, and likes to eat a lot. Sure, Kaylee may be small, but that doesn't limit her potential. After graduation, she hopes to go on adventures and travel the world. She would like to thank all of you who accepted her as the new kid last year, and would like to thank her family and friends for their wonderful memories here in Cold Lake. Jamie Stratton. We wish Jamie all the best in her future endeavors. Alexandria Swindon. Now that we have graduated, we have to decide what our futures are going to look like, make some of the biggest decisions of our lives. For herself, Alex is going to go to post-secondary and work to become a photographer. Alex hopes to change for the better. Watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. Isaac Teal. Next year, Isaac will be pursuing a bachelor's degree in neuroscience at the University of Alberta. Isaac wishes everyone the best of luck in whatever the future may bring. Lexi Thier. Lexi would like to thank her parents for being her greatest support system, best friends, and biggest fans. She would also like to thank Mrs. Johnson for always going above and beyond for her, and her cousin Erin for being the smart one so she didn't have to. 
She will miss lunch with Aaron Walker, but not the fear of being locked out of Yosha's social studies class. Logan Thompson. We wish Logan all the best in his future endeavors. Mercedes Torgerson. Mercedes plans on going to school to earn her Bachelor of Science and then hopefully on to med school to pursue her dream of becoming an anesthesiologist. Her favorite memory of high school is her entire grade nine year with Jenna Nickel. Nothing more, nothing less. Alex Turan. Alex's best memories include being in Miss Crawley's social studies class with her best friend, Sophie. She would like to thank Sophie and her family for always being there for her. She will really miss her friends as she heads off to Red Deer to study psychology, but she is excited for the new experience and escaping the chaotic CLHS parking lot alive. Leland Vachon. Leland plans to take some time to figure out what to do with his future. As he ponders this, he will be able to reflect on his high school years and spending time with friends. Leland would like to thank his family for all their support over the years. Aaron Walker. Erin is so beyond grateful for her time at CLHS and all that her teachers have done for her, especially those who taught grade 12. What a crazy year. Erin's best memories definitely come from long bus rides to places like Beaver Lodge for volleyball provincials and trips to Calgary for track provincials. Erin will also cherish all the time she spent with friends during Best Buddies and Unified events. Next year, Erin is attending the U of C coming School of Medicine for an Honours Bachelor of Health Science degree with a major in Biomedical Sciences. Erin is thrilled to be, begin her journey towards becoming a pediatrician. <laughs> Mr. Walker will not be giving hugs like that to anyone else. Kinsey Walsh. Kinsey would like to thank her family for their support over the last couple of years. Kinsey will miss Cosmo Class and Mrs. Keene. Kinsey would also like to thank Mr. Bowers and Mr. Walker for making her senior basketball seasons memorable. After graduation, Kinsey will be attending Toronto College of Dental Hygiene and Auxiliary where she will pursue, pursue dental hygiene. Soren Weiss. Though Soren did not actually enjoy taking classes at Cold Lake High School, the teachers were pretty okay, and she will remember the impact they had on her learning. She is excited to be graduating, and that will be the memory she will take with her as she embarks on a new adventure. Soren would like to thank her friends and family for their encouragement. Zach Whitford. One of Zach's best memories from school was going canoeing in grade 11. Zach's future plans are to learn how to compose music, then build his own studio, and make an album. Zach would like to thank his parents for helping him through hard times and pushing him to achieve his academic dreams. Kate Wheeler. We wish Kate all the best in her future endeavors. <laughs> Cole.
Connor Will. We wish Connor all the best in his future endeavors. Dylan Wilder. After graduating, Dylan plans to go to trade school for mechanics. Dylan wants to thank Mr. Hedinsky and Ms. LaPointe for the opportunities led, that led him to mechanics. Dylan will miss all of his teachers for encouraging him to do his best. And to his friends, you guys are like brothers. Jaden Williams. Jaden would like to thank his family and friends for their support. He will always remember Joe's unfortunate and smelly fall in Bio 20 and will miss grade 10 gym class. Jaden won't miss the schoolwork, which is probably part of the reason he's taking some time off from his education to work and consider his options. <laughs> Jesse Wilson. In the fall, Jessie will be going to the University of Alberta, Augustana, where she will pursue her Bachelor of Science degree. This will be the first step, step to achieve her goal of becoming a dietitian. She would like to thank all of her family, teachers, and friends, and coaches who have created such an enjoyable high school experience. She would like to say how grateful she is to all of those who contributed to so many amazing memories. With peace and love, see you, Cold Lake, Jessie. Kalia Winterhalt. <laughs> Kalia will not miss the constant mispronunciation of her first name, which for some reason seems so hard for everyone. Big shout out to Mr. Yoshida and Mr. Johnson, who just gave up and called her Winterhalt instead. Kalia will also not miss stressing out over exams and assignments. As such, she plans to take a year off before pursuing chemical engineering at the University of Alberta. She will miss her friends, however. Kaylee would like to send a big thank you to her mom and dad for always supporting her. Jordan Woloshin. After graduation, Jordan is planning on getting her nursing degree, later specializing in aesthetics. Jordan would like to thank her teachers, who sometimes seem more like friends, for always believing in her and for making class enjoyable. She would also like to say how appreciative she is of her parents for making sure she did everything to the best of her abilities and always showed her immense support and, of course, her friends, who she will miss greatly since the majority of them are not moving to the same city. Jordan is, however, looking forward to this new, new step in her life and excited to see where it takes her. Ethan Yoshida. Do or do not, there's no try. Ethan's favorite memory of school was his dad leaving him at school and Mrs. Matthews driving him home. Ethan would like to give her another thank you for that. Ethan will miss some of his classes like Science 24 with Mrs. Matthews, phys ed class with Mr. Bowers, and outdoor education class with Mr. Eagles. Ka-chow! Our final graduate, Colton Young. That's a little bit for you, Colton, and a lot because you're the last one. Colton would like to thank all faculty, his friends, and his family for supporting him and helping him through high school. Colton plans to take what he learned to university and eventually return here to teach in the future. We would now like to re-welcome the man, the myth, the legend, our fearless leader, Mr. Walker, to address the graduating class.
is your speech. Thank you. I guess it works. Good afternoon, grads, families, staff, and everyone else who has come out to celebrate this day with the students of our 2021 grad class. What a strange year we have had. At the beginning of March last year, these young men and women who were in grade 11 at the time were laughing in the halls, stressing about their schoolwork, focusing on zone basketball playoffs, and rehearsing for our school play. They were at that exciting time of high school where the pressure of school is balanced by the fun of being a teenager who's still at home and not yet worried about all the challenges that come from being a full adult living away from home. Then almost no overnight, the classes they attended were cancelled, their social lives came to a halt, their jobs ended for the most part, and even the sports that they watched on TV stopped. They had to learn how to completely relearn how to learn online at the same time that the teachers were also figuring that out. Expectations were blurred as the rules were figured out. They, like the rest of us, were living without knowing what the future held. It seems like we have been adjusting almost constantly as rules and regulations have changed. In September, we returned to school, but without many of the things that make school fun. No sports, no fine arts, clubs, or school trips. Students this year have, have had limited social gatherings at a time in their lives when being with friends is everything. But this group persevered. They were in school for class, then they were online. Then some were isolating while others were at school. It has been the year of complete unpredictability and constant perseverance. I've used that word twice because there is no better way to describe how these young men and women, women have coped. They persevered through uncertainty, through fear, and yes, recently through the tragedy of losing a classmate. But here is what struck me has what excuse me here is what has struck me most through all of this the most successful people i have known have always been those who can adjust quickly who can manage change they are the people who can stay strong committed and positive as the, as the situation around them is changing these grads have done just that and will have to continue to be incredibly adaptable as they start the next stage of their lives the talent and leadership school skills that we have seen from this group over the past four years at Cold Lake High School can attest to their quality. I have personally seen great examples of determination, integrity, talent, and brilliance from students in this group. Seated now, now are great athletes, volunteers, builders, speakers, actors, musicians, and academics. This group includes our future welders, our doctors, teachers, electricians, lawyers, cooks, and nurses. They will also become the mums and dads of this crowd in 20 to 30 years. Time moves quickly. What is most important to me as a principal is that this group of young people have proven to us that they can be good. They can be good people, they can be good friends, and they can be good leaders. These kids are resilient, they're talented, and they care about each other and the people around them. They have worked hard to finish school and are all going to be just fine. They are the only class in modern times to have spent their entire grade 12 grade in the middle of a pandemic. This is their generational hurdle. And now I want to speak one last time to our grads, directly to our grads. Around our school, you have seen three words displayed prominently for four years. They are integrity, commitment, and pride. When you make decisions in your lives, be a royal. Show this by having the integrity to do what is right, by having the commitment to stay the course and finish what you start, and by having pride in what you have accomplished. At some time today, take a few moments to reflect on what other people in your lives have done for you, find them, and thank them. I speak for myself and for the staff of Cold Lake High School when I say that we have truly enjoyed your time here, and we hope that there are many successful and happy times ahead for each and every one of you. You will always be a royal. Please come back to visit us. Please be safe tonight. And please know that your last principal is very proud of you. Thank you.
Hello? Okay, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Now it is my honor and privilege to ask Aaron Walker, our 2021 valedictorian, to come address the crowd and graduates. Come on up, come on up Aaron. Mrs. Eagles, I just had a Dr. Henshaw moment too. Welcome staff, students, honorable guests, and beloved family members. On behalf of the CLHS graduating class of 2021, I would love to begin by thanking you all for your participation in today's celebration and for all that you have done to establish a sense of normalcy in this crazy year by providing us with such an incredible graduation ceremony. Your efforts do not go unnoticed, nor are they unappreciated. Graduates, what do you say we give our staff and parent committee a round of applause for pulling this off? Over the past four years at Cold Lake High School, we have learned more than any of us could have imagined. Mr. Darji has taught us how to differentiate logarithmic, exponential, and trigonometric functions while fielding questions like, when will we ever use this in the future? Like many of you, I'm sure, I still don't know the answer to that question. Ms. Kapoor taught us that the literary device we've learned to identify in various poems is actually pronounced synecdoche, not synodoche. We learned the hard way that Mr. Johnson wasn't joking when he said he'd part mark us to death if we dared to forget to include uh, units in a stoichiometry equation. In bio with Ms. Dusik, we discovered that fuzzy peaches and Swedish berries are more than just candy. They are the vital parts of our handmade nucleotides. And to my dismay, Ms. Matthews informed many of us that de Broglie's wavelength has nothing to do with the ocean. Perhaps most importantly of all, Yosh taught us to never be late to class. I'm sure we all made that mistake once, and only once. <laughs> With all of that being said, I believe that some of the most important things we learned throughout high school have come from each other. Whether it was during a 10-hour bus ride to Beaver Lodge for volleyball provincials, a joy-filled pep rally in the school gym, an early morning Google Meet during quarantine, an opening night performance of the school play, or a best buddies dance night. I know that I am not the only one who will miss these experiences. For many years to come, I'm sure we will all look back fondly on the times we spent hurrying hard down the curling ice or releasing an arrow in archery practice. We will miss school spirit weeks, biofield studies, sorry Joe, sports performance workouts, shooting hoops at lunch, unified beanbag toss tournaments, school-wide fundraisers, band and drama practices, and countless home tournaments. But I know that there are many more new and exciting opportunities waiting for us beyond the reaches of CLHS. I will never run out of Mr. Yoshida's classroom again to catch the volleyball bus for a tournament, but that is okay with me. It's time for a new chapter. This last year and a half may have been slightly less eventful in terms of sports and school events than we ever could have imagined, but we are definitely not lacking incredible high school memories. These lessons we learned and the joy we encountered during these experiences are things that will remain with us for the rest of our lives, and I wouldn't have it any other way. The positive memories are not the only things we have learned from in the last four years, though. As I stand here today, looking out on all of you, I see an empty chair, reminding me of a recent devastating loss we have undergone as a community, school, and grad class. We have all learned to grieve, remember, and honor our friend together. Happy graduation, Erin. We discovered, while facing the hardest and most challenging few days of most of our lives thus far, the most valuable people to have by our sides are each other. I am so grateful to all of you for continuing to personify the kind, caring, compassionate, and respectful nature that I have grown to associate with each and every one of you. We have needed this from each other more than ever in the past few weeks. I have not been disappointed. Oh, how we have grown up. 
It seems like just yesterday we were being pelted with water balloons for the first time in grade nine as we walked out the front doors of the school, unsure of what this senior prank was all about. Now we understand. <laughs> We are suddenly finding ourselves leading the water fights in the school parking lot and enjoying every second of our senior superiority. In this same short four years, we developed some of the most meaningful relationships possible with our teachers, parents, and most importantly, each other. I remember walking into the school in grade nine, being scared to death of the mass of students surrounding me. Little did I know, these same strangers would become some of my best friends who now know me better than I know myself. To you, I say thank you. High school would be nothing without classmates and friends. Lastly, I would like to speak directly to my fellow graduates. I am honored to have been chosen as this year's valedictorian, tasked with the job of representing you all, and I know that many of you could be in my position right now. We have all worked incredibly hard over the past four years. I am extraordinarily lucky that academics have always come easily to me. With that being said, I understand that this is not the case for some of you. I want you to know that I am beyond proud of you for achieving everything you have and earning this diploma. You are here because of how hard you have worked. Your classmates, teachers, families, and friends all recognize that and are here to celebrate your accomplishments. The hours upon hours of studying have finally paid off. Thank goodness. <laughs> this has been an amazing journey with all of you, and I cannot wait to hear about your future endeavors and achievements. As I have said to Lexi numerous times before, I believe in you. We have already achieved greatness within our school. It is time to use these invaluable skills we have acquired over the past four years elsewhere. Congratulations, CLHS graduating class of 2021. We did it. Thank you so much, Erin. When the graduation ceremony is complete, we ask parents to remain seated, and we ask that graduates head back to their designated classroom to grab their belongings if required. Graduates are then asked to head to the football field for a group photo. Parents and guests are not permitted on the football field due to COVID restrictions. For graduates participating in the Grand March, they are asked to gather in the field house at 1.50. All guests are required to be seated by 2 p.m. If parents and guests leave the arena, they will be required to recheck in at the desk. The grad ceremony was recorded and will be available for viewing later this afternoon. Please check your emails and the Facebook page for the link. As we send you off to your next chapter, we want to remind you of your royal roots. Face each new challenge with commitment, integrity, and pride. When given the choice to be anything, choose kind. And always remember you have the biggest fans rooting for you and supporting you here at Cold Lake High School. We can't wait to have you fill our prescriptions at the pharmacy, give us a quote on new windows, or help us with our taxes. The possibilities are endless. We know you'll make us proud. It is our pleasure to officially introduce to you the Cold Lake High School graduating class of 2021. So graduates, you are able to head back to your designated classrooms to grab your belongings. Thank you so much for joining us for this important ceremony today. <laughs>